What up guys, it's MB back with another cinematic tutorial, and today we have an outstanding high fade to go over, so without further ado, let's run it. First up, you want to clean up your canvas using a high number. We do this to make sure we don't knock off too much darkness. In this case, I did use a 1.5 open with the grain. Now that you've got that done, create your baseline. Remember not to dig in and try setting it in smoothly. You don't want to create a harsh line and make it difficult for yourself. Patiently remove all the excess hair underneath. For a clean finish, be sure to use a shaver and get rid of all the stubble. With your lever open no guard, create your next guideline. In this case, I am aiming at half an inch for a compressed blend, but you can do a full inch for a longer blend. Next, you want to close up the lever fully and hit that guideline you just made halfway through. Eventually, as you move up on the guideline, open up the lever gradually. I do use my trimmer to get rid of any line left from the baseline we just made. Alright, with your half guard halfway open, create a half inch guideline all around. Now slightly open up fully with the same guard and go up another half inch. Next, with your number one, break the line within the dark and light area. Try flicking out a tad bit to be sure we don't create another guideline. And here, just flow through the one and a half from earlier and try not to cut off too much darkness because it is necessary for a nice transition. Finally, with your lever fully open, remove the last visible line you're able to see. Folks, we're still not done, detailing is probably the most important step when it comes to a nice blend. So make sure you polish up with your corners and come back to any certain guards if you need to. In this very moment, I just want to thank everyone who supports and tunes in to watch every video. I truly appreciate you guys. If you guys have any questions, make sure to ask down in the comment section below and I'll be glad to help you out. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because there's loads of content in the works for y'all.
case, I do use a one guard with the grain to debuff, but if you're working with straight hair, you might want to go for a higher number. Since it is a high fade, I use enhancements to take away from the blend and make the lineup the main attraction. Guys, you can't go wrong with the FX3s when lining up, so if you want to shop this trimmer, make sure to use my discount code Marty10 at any Babyliss site. All that is left to do is razor and we're set. Guys, we've come to the end of the tutorial, and if you did enjoy this video or learn anything from it, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Again, I'm Marty Blends, and I'm out. Peace.